Welcome to Soda Anonymous. I'm your host, Soda Anonymous. Today's episode, we're talking about the brand new Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla. All right, well, before we get started with the review, um, I would like to talk about how difficult Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla was to track down. Um, this soda came out yesterday, which would have been uh, February 25th, 2019. And um, you would think for a company as big as the Coca-Cola company, um, they would be able to manage the rollouts a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, uh, the day of release, um, this was simply unavailable um, where I lived, you know, in the United States. Um, and I hunted, I looked around. I really, I went to Walmart, uh, they, they didn't have them. I went to Target, I went to gas stations, um, I went to grocery chains, I went to multiple of the same store. I called around, um, I, I called uh, the Coca-Cola company themselves, they sent me to my, uh, my state distributor, um, they said they didn't even have them. Um, I even tweeted at Coke and they kind of gave me a canned response. Um, but anyway, uh, on release day, this simply was not available for me to purchase. Um, luckily, day two, which is today, um, Racetrack came in clutch, the gas station chain, and they had the regular variety um, in the plastic bottles. Um, unfortunately, they don't have the zero variety yet. Um, I would have liked to review both of them for you at this time. But, um, but they only have the regular. So the zero is gonna be in a part two uh, at a later time. But anyway, um, yeah, I've got it here now and uh, no harm, no foul, the soda's good. So uh, let's get on to the fun facts. All right, so first off, uh, Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla is the first mainline release of a flavored Coca-Cola uh, since the 2007 relaunch of Coca-Cola Vanilla. Now there's a bit of a technicality there. Um, if you remember the Georgia peach and the California raspberry flavors uh, that came out past two years, um, they are a regular variety of Coke that have a new flavor. So, you know, you can kind of debate this. Um, technically, though, they're part of the Origins line, which means they're sweetened with cane sugar, um, and they kind of have a different presentation and uh, placement and vibe. So... It's, it's iffy if you want to say um, that this is the, the first one in uh, more than a decade, as all the news articles are saying. Um, but yes, technically, uh, the mainline standard Coke product, this is the first one um, since standard vanilla. Anyway, uh, orange vanilla has been available as a possible combination in freestyle fountains since 2009. So freestyle fountains, if you don't know, are uh, the smart fountains that uh, have a touch screen where you can do your own sort of mixtures um, and they kind of have all sorts of weird flavors like Sprite Grape and you know sometimes they have Surge or, or special combinations. Um, and yeah they came out in 2009 and it was possible to get Coca-Cola with orange flavoring and vanilla flavoring um, if you so choose. Um, I'm not sure if this distribution method um, helped Coke crunch the numbers and figure out that this was a product in demand. Um, or if they just did their in-house testing like they normally do. Um, but I'd be really interested to see if, uh, if freestyle is going to impact the actual uh, physical releases of sodas. That's going to be interesting. Um, this is not the first time the Coca-Cola company has tinkered with orange flavor. A limited time uh, Coca-Cola with orange flavor was released in 2007 exclusive to Gibraltar. Um, Soon after, uh, because it was popular, the drink was available in the United Kingdom as Coca-Cola Orange, and it came in an orange bottle. It's kind of nifty looking. Um, more recently, uh, Coca-Cola has been experimenting with orange again, uh, first releasing Coca-Cola Orange in Japan uh, in 2014, um, and Coca-Cola No Sugar Hint of Orange uh, in Australia in 2018. Um, the Orange vanilla is a, is a more recent concoction. It was actually tried first in Canada as Coca-Cola Orange Sorbet in 2018. Um, this is the first time we're getting anything like that um, here, so that's really exciting. Um, Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla is available in the regular and zero varieties. Um, like I said, I'll get the zero uh, version as soon as it's available to me. Um, unfortunately, only got the regular. Uh, but we're going to make the best of it. I'm, I'm really excited about trying this new soda for you. 
All right, now let's get started here. Now, uh, this is going to be the first blind tasting um, on Soda Anonymous. Um, previously, Coca-Cola Vanilla um, was sort of my least experience uh, soda uh, in front of the camera for you guys. But this is actually zero experience. I don't even know what it tastes like. Uh, I don't know what it smells like. Um, so it's, it's going to be sort of discovery with you. Um, but anyway, let's crack it open. I'm really excited to give it a try. There we go. First, we're going to give it a pour and a sniff test. All right. Let's actually cap that back up. Save as much of the carbonation as we can here. All right. First, to sniff. Whoa. Yeah, that's really cool. All right. Um, as is consistent with the flavored Coca-Cola products that I've reviewed so far, um, the flavoring itself is the predominant factor. So um, immediately I'm hit with a blast of orange and vanilla, more so than Coke. Um, Let's try to break this apart here. All right, so the orange itself, interestingly enough, smells a little bit more natural than what I was expecting. Um, I was thinking it was gonna be more of the candy orange sort of uh, Fanta smell, um, but it's, it's, it's more natural than that. It's almost like the lemony bite smell that you would get from a normal Coke sort of mixes with the orange, um, the orange flavoring, the orange smell, and it, it gives a, a, a nice citrus note. It, it smells like um, orange peel. Honestly, it's, it's, more, it's more natural than, than what I was expecting. So the orange itself is definitely the strongest flavor in terms of smell. There's a little hint, like an undercurrent of vanilla. Um, interestingly enough, the vanilla smells a little bit more like um, cream than um, vanilla bean, where Coca-Cola vanilla was definitely like a vanilla bean smell. Um, this smells like, uh, kind of like vanilla ice cream, so it's a little bit more of that milky uh, smell, which is nice. It is kind of a subtle undernote of um, the orange, so you're not going to get a strong vanilla smell from this. In terms of Coke, I don't know if I could pick any out. Very little. Very little. We're talking like just the outer edges of the smell. You get a little just like hint of Coke. Just a little, a little cola echoes. Smaller even than the, than the cream. It's just, it's almost completely orange. Um, but like I said, it's not a candied orange. Um, it's not, it doesn't remind me of Fanta. Um, it's, Fanta is more of like a, like a deep candy flavor. Um, this is, like I said, more of a, like a sharper, natural, like crisp, um, citrus smell, which is nice. Um, but anyway, let's get on with the taste here. I'm, I'm really intrigued. Um, I was expecting, uh, kind of a, a Fanta Coke mixture, which is a popular sort of mixture. Uh, at least when I was a kid, I, I, I would do it and my friends would do it. So, um, that's what I thought. Uh, Coca-Cola is in charge of Fanta. So, you know, logistically, I guess it wouldn't make sense. Um, but no, it's, it's more natural than that. So let's give it a try here. All right, well, it's nice and bubbly, first of all. Huh. You know, it's not intense. I was expecting it to be 
pretty intense. Um, the smell it was giving off was, uh, was a pretty strong smell. Um, I could even sort of smell it before I even picked it up to my face. So I thought, you know, with cherry, it kind of gives you the kapow. And uh, with vanilla especially, it's just like, boom, a blast of flavor in your mouth. And this is more of a, uh, a subtle flavor. And it's not that the orange is a subtle flavor in the Coke. It's that the overall flavor of the drink is more laid back. It's more of a subtle, subtle flavor. I think um, where I said vanilla, um, I would think that kids would really, really enjoy the sugar bomb of it. Um, this is more of like a... I think adults, um, even older people, um, would find themselves more at home with this kind of flavor. It's definitely easier to pick out the Coke in that. Um, it does have like this deep syrupy floor. Um, it's missing a lot of the sort of um, subtler notes of Coke. Um, those have sort of been taken over by the orange, but it does have a nice base uh, of Coke flavor um, that sort of holds the whole thing together. Um, yeah, the um, it's much more of a natural orange um, than what I was expecting. It's almost got a little bit of that tartness um, that you would think um, a big brand would sort of shy away from. Um, it reminds me of um, like physically putting um, a bit of citrus um, on like a club soda um, and like that, those flavors that you get from it. I would say the predominant flavor is kind of 50-50. It's a little questionable. Um, just drinking some water here. The... I'm going to give it to the Coke flavor, but only slightly. Um, I would say maybe it's like a 60-40, where um, the Coke is the predominant flavor of the drink. With the orange definitely being second. The cream is tough to parse. It's a little bit on the end. Um, the aftertaste especially, um, it leaves a little bit of that cream in your mouth, which is nice. Um, on the initial hit, pretty much no cream. But, um, but on your breath, on your tongue afterwards, you get a little bit of that creamy taste. Um, so yeah, it's enjoyable. It, it tastes like, um, like an orange pop, an orange cream pop. Um, it's not quite like... Um, the closest I can compare this flavor to would be um, like a Storch, a Storch orange and cream soda. Um, but even that is like sharp. Um, and, and sort of light, um, this, because it has that Coke, it sort of brings it down to a more mellow, uh, level. It's really nice. I enjoy it. Um, you know, maybe I'm, I'm overanalyzing it here. I'm going to just sort of drink it without thinking too much. Yeah. I could see this catching on. I really think the audience for this um, is going to be slightly older people. Um, the only reason why I say that is it reminds me of like a good, you know, no alcohol clearly, but a good like mixed drink um, or like a mixed drink alternative. You know, if, if, you've, <laughs> if, you've, if you're older and given up drinking, uh, you know, you, you might whip up something like this uh, to enjoy. I think the, the slightly bitter notes that come from the orange peel um, might turn off some kids because um, it's not like bright orange soda. It doesn't taste like that. Yeah, it's much more of like, a, like an orange peel. 
Um, but it's pretty good. Um, there's one more thing that I want to compare it to um, while I got you here. I'm actually going to bust out Coca-Cola Vanilla here. Um, I was really curious because it's another line of vanilla product. If the vanilla was going to taste like uh, Coca-Cola Vanilla, if it's going to be the same sort of vanilla flavoring. My guess, just from trying them back to back, it's not going to be. Um, it already kind of tastes a little bit more milky, um, but I really want to do a direct comparison just to see. So let's pop this open. All right. Whew. Okay. Coca-Cola vanilla always packs a punch. All right. Yeah, it's not, it's not. Um, it, now, it might literally be the same flavor, but the way it's masked um, and the, the formulation, it's such a subtle hint in here. Um, I don't get any of that um, like super um, vanilla bean taste. Um, it really is like an orange creamsicle, which is really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I think um, I think that's all she wrote. Um, I think this would be good um, with a little booze in it, <laughs> honestly. Uh, so maybe give that a try. Um, but definitely pick this up if you see it. Um, it was really hard for me to find, but in the next couple of weeks or so, this should be as prominent in your grocery store as regular Coke. It should be the new big thing. They're really trying to make this... Uh, make this a long lasting product. And um, yeah, if you want more of a, a subtle flavorful experience where you, uh, you can enjoy kind of a citrusy note, um, if you want more of like a, like a mixed drink kind of, uh, kind of feel, so it's like sophisticated if you wanna call it that, I think you should give it a shot, it's really good. Um, I don't think you could just make this yourself with some Fanta and pour it in a Coke. You know, it's kind of, um, it's a nice place to take Coke. Um, it's a little bit more like regular Coke in the sense that um, regular Coke has a lot of subtle intricacies to it. That's why I love it so much. Um, whereas vanilla Coke is like just a wham of this really quick and enjoyable flavor. And so is cherry, though, to a slightly lesser degree. Um, but this one, you kind of gotta, you kind of gotta think about it and kind of, kind of take it all in. But anyway, um, I've rambled on long enough. Go ahead and grab one for yourself, and you be the judge. Um, in terms of a rating, that's gonna be a tough one. Let's think about this. I really like it. That's an eight. That's an eight. Um, it could potentially be higher. Um, you know, it was a bit of a bit of a soul search about it. Um, I think it's a little bit more of a specialty drink. Um, I would want to drink it on the beach. Um, I would want to drink it, you know, um, sort of on a on a hot day. Um, you know, and if I want something a little bit more uh, fruity, but not like uh, like super uh, bright like a fruit punch or something, um, I would definitely reach for this. I'd buy this um, again, and uh, I hope it sticks around. I hope it catches on. Um, I've seen the reviews online, and they're kind of 50-50. Some people are just absolutely not a fan, um, and some people are like me and uh, are not on board. So, yeah, this is an 8 out of 10. And, uh, yeah, that about wraps it up. So... Uh, yeah, uh, I would ask you if you've had it before, um, but odds are, you know, it's, it's just started. So um, go out and grab one. Go ahead and give it a shot. Um, once you try it, let me know what you think in the, in the comments. I'd, I'd be really curious to know what uh, soda fans are thinking about this new flavor because it's ground zero, you know, the, the sky's the limit for it. Um, and yeah, that about wraps up this review. 
So uh, this is Soda Anonymous signing off, and I hope you have a good day. I'll see you next time.